Hello doctors and welcome to today's program. Today what I'm going to talk about is why don't chiropractic schools teach basic spinal injury workups? It seems like it should be something that is taught in every medical school and chiropractic school and school of osteopathy and school of physical therapy in the country today, but it's not being taught. A, a, a normal and routine spinal injury workup is not standardly being taught in any college I'm aware of today. And it should be. Spinal injuries are the number one cause of pain and disability in the market today. So we have to have a lot more doctors in the market that understand how to do standard workups for the most standard injuries. The most common injuries. The most common injury is a spinal ligament injury. And the spinal ligament injury, remember there's 220 specialized ligaments in a human spine. 23 of those ligaments are discs, right? So we have an MRI that's good for locating if we've got a disc problem. But it's only 23 of the 220, right? The other thing that we see on imaging that helps us determine the severity and location of a ligament injury is excessive motion testing. Excessive motion testing is the easiest way to determine the severity and location of a spinal ligament injury it's also the key to a spinal instability and a spinal subluxation if you're a chiropractor. Spinal, I'll stay with spinal instability, a spinal instability exam. It's the key to that. So it's the number one problem in the market today. It causes more, more pain, more disability than any other condition in the market today. And there's not a single school in the country, and there's not a single chiropractic school in the country that teaches its students how to do a standard spinal ligament injury workup. How to determine the severity and location of a spinal ligament injury. And I think that that's just a major flaw in the system. So doctors, right now today, if you came out of the top chiropractic schools in the country, you don't know how to do, you haven't been trained how to do, a standard spinal instability evaluation. You haven't been determined how to, how to determine the severity and location, how to motor test for a level, or sensory test for a level. You probably have been taught some of those things. You remember the pinwheel. You remember muscle testing, right? But putting it together, he putting it together, going, okay, great. If I have a, a, um, a deltoid muscle that is a grade four, good, what nerve? C5 nerve, good, what motion unit? C4 C5 motion unit. Good. If I know it's a C4, C5 motion unit, then with imaging, flexion, extension, I can tell if I've got excessive motion at that level. That's the damage that's most commonly attributed to the ligament injury that's caused in an auto accident, that's caused in domestic violence, that's caused in work-related injuries, that's caused in slip and fall injuries, that's caused in injuries where people, you know, dive into pools and hit their head wrong. That's the most common injury. But yet, just the simple workup of that injury, a simple workup, that's like, that would be like dental students coming out and not being taught standardly how to locate a cavity. Every dental student I'm aware of comes out and knows exactly what you do. You x-ray, you look for uh, dental caries on x-ray, and then you examine them with your tools to see if it's now ready, if it's one that needs to be drilled and filled or not. Or how bad it is, where it is, where it's located. Standardly, Dennis learned that. But in our market, in the spine market, the lumbar spine is the number one cause of pain, number one physical cause of pain and disability in the market today. The neck is number four. Injuries to the neck. Injuries to the lower back, number one. Injuries to the neck, number four. And Headaches is number six, which is an injury to the neck, most commonly. But no standard procedures. So unfortunately, most doctors today have to get trained how to do these things standardly in outside educational programs. That is the biggest, that is the main emphasis of the Smart Injury Doctors program that I do and, and that I train doctors in. That is the biggest thing that we're doing to train doctors is to standardize. Now, do we need a lot more doctors in the market that understand how to standardly do these routines, how to standardly do these evaluations, 
and how to standardly communicate to the market that this is what they're doing and this is the significance of what they're doing. Yes. Now, if we had this, number one, injury care would be incredibly improved in the injury market. Number two, reimbursement in non-injury insurance markets would be significantly improved for doctors of chiropractic. Significantly improved. And the ability to communicate what we do would be greatly simplified. And that's why it's so important today. Yes, I will stand in here and I'll do a podcast and I'm not throwing stones at any, any chiropractic college. Right? Not any, not any chiropractic college. I came out of chiropractic college. It afforded me the ability to be a chiropractor. I'm grateful for that. But I also know what the shortcomings of my education was. And it's, there's no sense not talking about that so that those can be fixed for future generations of chiropractors or future generations of osteopaths or future generations of medical doctors. We need better doctors that understand how to determine the severity and location of simple spinal ligament injuries that cause the instability, that causes the chronic pain and disability associated with these injuries. We need doctors to very confidently and competently be able to work these up very, very quickly. And they're so easy to do. There's nothing hard about it. But it's not being taught. And you can't do what you don't know. You can't you can't understand what you don't understand. Knowing it and knowing the simplicity of it significantly improves your competency and your confidence because you understand and can routinely now, whether it's in a trauma case, injury case, or it's in the chronic pain case. Remember, 9 out of 10 patients that are in chronic pain, especially in chronic spinal pain, are working with doctors that don't know the exact cause of their pain. They haven't identified it, not simply. And that just doesn't have to be you. What you can be is a very, very confident doctor that understands exactly how to do these procedures. And they're not hard to learn. They're, they're, they're really not. Um, they're very simple to learn. But they should be standardly being taught in chiropractic colleges or Yes, I have a program. The program is called the Smart Injury Doctors Program. And that program is specific, again, to just the training of doctors to be able to standardly do this. And when they can standardly do it, it makes a serious difference in their ability to uh, earn a better living. To get more, and how do you earn a better living? You help more people. It significantly increases your ability to help more people. So doctors, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to, to, to talk very briefly today that, look, if you feel like you're deficient in this area, it's because you were never trained in this area. That's why you'll feel deficient in the area. So was I when I was a provider. When I was first starting out, I had to figure all this out on my own. I had to put these things together and simplify it. It took me years to do it. But once I understood it, I was like, Wow, this is super, super simple. And that's what doctors that understand how to do exactly what I'm talking about in this program today, they think the same thing. If a patient in the market today has a spinal ligament injury, there's no way that they should ever set foot in somebody's office for treatment that doesn't understand how to standardly identify it and then treat it. Nobody in the market should do that. You wouldn't send your kids to a doctor for that. You wouldn't send any family member in for us to, you know, for somebody that couldn't do that. So you wanna, if you if you feel deficient in that area, check us out. Check us out at smartinjurydoctor.com. Check out what we have to offer there, because I'll tell you what, um, understanding the simplicity of what you do, especially in injury work, can seriously improve every aspect of your practice and seriously reduce the problems associated with growing a large really good foundation to grow a lot, you know, to grow a really great uh, spinal injury practice. So doctors, that's what I wanted to talk about today. You're not, you haven't been trained. I was never trained in the chiropractic schools. If you feel you need advanced education, check us out. Take a look at it. It seriously can improve your professional career, results you get with your patients, and I could go on and on and on. 
Doctors, before I end off today, what I'd like to ask you is what I'm starting to ask you now in all these podcasts. If there's something in personal injury that you don't like or something that you wish would go away or something that you knew uh, how to do better, uh, put your comments down below. I look at the comments and I will look to find, if I don't understand an area, I will find the experts that do understand those areas and then you'll start to see interviews on this podcast, on these podcasts. Uh, which we'll start to do probably in the winter of 2019. We'll start to, I'll start to bring in uh, guest speakers. Doctors, thank you very, very much for your time today. I appreciate it. And as always, tune in for the next podcast. They're simple to the point, and I hope they help you out in some small way to make your life as a private practitioner better. Thank you.